to use this bad situation for their own good. Terrible. Yeah, this story is going to have you shaking your head. A Surfside woman speaking out after identity theft criminals tried to exploit her devastating loss when her home collapsed. And she wasn't the only victim. NBC 6's Julia Bag joins us. She's live outside of the state attorney's office with details. Julia, three people now under arrest, and they're accused of taking advantage of these victims here. It's just, like I said, going to have you shaking your head when you hear about this. It sure is, Chris. So let me give you a look at these three people under arrest this morning. Betsy Alejandra, Contra Medina, Kimberly Michelle Johnson, and Rodney Chote. Each of them facing felony charges in a scheme to steal thousands. Now, Stella Kozispolsky says she is one of at least seven Surfside fraud victims targeted. After the Champlain Tower South collapsed in June, she lost her home, and she says thieves stole her identity, spending thousands of dollars on her credit card. Two weeks I was crying day and night. What happened in my apartment? Then I got a little bit better, and all of a sudden this. The loss of 98 lives was and is still painfully tragic. But for a group of alleged identity thieves, it was a time to make some money. Take a look at this. Investigators sharing surveillance video appearing to show one of the suspected thieves, Medina in this case, spending thousands at Bloomingdale's in Aventura, clutching a black Versace purse, if you look closely, also allegedly purchased with stolen credit cards. Now, Kostopolsky tells us she was able to go to the bank and get things straightened out.